Welcome to Devotional Daily. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe to our videos. Today is November 20. Our title is By Grace, Part 1. But now the righteousness of God apart from the law is revealed, being witnessed by the law and the prophets. Romans 3, 21 and 22. In the first chapter of the letter to the Romans, the Apostle Paul argues that the Gentiles are lost for transgressing the general revelation of God manifested in the created world and in conscience. The Jews must have enthusiastically applauded Paul for affirming the Gentiles' lost condition. However, in chapter 2 and part of chapter 3 of the same letter, Paul turns his attention to the Jews. They were in no better condition. They are lost for transgressing the special revelation of God made in the Torah. Thus, all have sinned, and there is none righteous, no, not one. In Romans 3.21, we find a dividing line between two eras, the era of lostness, marked by attempts at salvation through works of the law, and the era of salvation by grace. After considering that all, both Gentiles and Jews, are lost, the apostle exclaims, but now the righteousness of God apart from the law is revealed. The doctrine of justification divided the religious world of the 16th century. Martin Luther and the Reformers understood that justification is a declaratory act, as evident in Romans 4 verse 3. Abraham believed God, and it was accounted to him for righteousness. Since the Reformation, justification has been understood biblically as a forensic act in which God attributes or imputes righteousness, counting as righteous the one who places faith in Jesus Christ. Justification is a divine verdict, a legal pronouncement made by God concerning the sinner as a result of their acceptance of Christ's righteousness. Before God, in Christ, you stand with a new status of righteousness that is by grace through faith. 